We're live! Nice. Fucking lit. Rico! And? Oh. Danny! Si. We're in this. We're in this Danny, right now. Danny, venga a comer, carajo. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. I know y'all fucking hey. with the vibe of the room. I know y'all. Look, 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 look. <laughs> dude, dude went to the Dollar Tree. <laughs> Yo, fuck you, bitch. That's not Dollar Tree quality back there. Look at that. But anyway, since you requested, we got another video for you. Another reaction to Mitski. We got Danny C to offer his, you know, his. Motherfucking talents and ear. He don't even know Mitski. I, I've he knows nobody. I've heard a couple of songs. We're not gonna take. We're not gonna actually do y'all requests. We're gonna go on our own. The second most listened album off of Spotify. We might go back and listen to Make Out Creek and uh, what is it? Puberty too. We'll see. We'll see. But we're gonna be reacting to Be the Motherfucking Cowboy. Yo, is it is it hot over there? We're in Dubai. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All right, let's get into it. You want? Yeah, we're ready. Let's do it. Ready? Let's do it. I'm, Be the I'm cowboy. Going. Yeah, this was the second most. It got like a, a couple gold, gold plaques, couple pra platinum plaques. One hundred sixty-four thousand. Yeah, bit million listens. Yeah, yeah, that two eighty nine million three sixty five. That's hair. That's as many, that, bro. That's what I was gonna say. She, she, she's blown up. She's doing, she she doing numbers, bro. But that one is like one million listens for every day of one year, bro. Three hundred sixty five million streams. That's crazy. That's wild. She's huge. Yeah, that's what I'm saying, bro. I can't even get my parents to listen to me. All right, here we go, Gazer. Guys. <laughs> <laughs> Say it right, nigga. Hard. That's a good start. Yo. It's a good opening track. It's it's short. It's sweet. Very, like, atmospheric. This is just coming from my experience. Like, I, I grew up around, like, a lot of, like, like gospel music, right? Mm. Coming up and, like, playing gospel music. So this mm. kind of reminded me a little bit of gospel music. Mm. Just, like, the, the, the elements, the ambience, the lyrics. Um, not, not to say that in a bad way, actually. It just it sounds good. I like it. I dig it. I feel like Danny C is having a different experience than Rico and Primo because, like, we listened to the land is in, in his spot in his hospitable, right? Mm -hmm. And like this is a completely different flavor. Yeah, like surprisingly, yeah, it's a it's a big surprise to us. Like I'm kind of glad we started with her latest album because it was a little more folky, more Americana. Mm -hmm. Like this shit had like guitars, it had synths, it had all kinds of cool shit. So, um, but yeah. the same uh, like the the common denominator was Mitski, right? And yeah. they're like kind of like long tones and like drown out melodies. It was cool. Yeah. It's cool. I still I still wouldn't listen to her. Let's see if this this is the album that he makes me listen mind. to her. He like, gonna change his mind. He gonna well, change we'll his see. Mind. Let's see this is the album that makes me want to listen to her like on the reg. So I don't know if anyone's ever listened to Charlotte Day Wilson. I think that's her name. Um her and like Mitski, they in terms of female singers, their their voices are, are, are on a slightly lower register, but like they're also really powerful voices. 
So I think like just off the rip, anything that she sings is probably going to sound really unique mm -hmm. um, to a lot of people. And I think that's the appeal of it. Uh, so, yeah. You're the only one. <laughs> like she, she can't wait. Like you my boo. And she gushing like a geyser. Why didn't you stop me? Okay. Okay. Hard. <laughs> yeah, guitar is hard, bro. Guitar is dirty. That's my favorite part right there. My little strut. Yo, I might have a permanent stink face for the rest of this album if it sounds like this. You might have a stink face counter of just one <laughs> breakup song. That's what it seems like context wise. I mean, I I want to see what the rest of the album kind of sounds like too, because I'm I'm curious off of these first two songs what the rest of the album, like tonally what the theme is. Yeah. So that that to me is 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 gonna be an interesting part of this. But I I mean, pretty cool. Let's Very get to it. Forward songwriting. Yeah. yeah. All right. Old friend. Old friend. Okay. More breakup, it seemed like. We nearly drowned for such a silly thing. Someone who loves me now better than you. Maybe a blue diner. I'll take anything you want to give me, baby. This is like 5-4. The city where you're from, I squeeze a little. Meet me a blue. Weird time signature. Yeah, I couldn't tell what it was. It was like three, three, four, and then two. It was four, four. <laughs> yeah, I mean, it's a short song. Be the cowboy. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, these these are some. Uh, interesting short tracks. So it's like little sweet, like little tidbits. They yeah. seem very personal too. She must have went through a really bad breakup, man. She's like reminiscing. She's like, maybe you're onto a new girl. You got that pretty girl. I got someone that treats me a lot better than you. I mean, that's why she's look maxing on the cover. Bro. She's really look maxing. She's serving <laughs> looks. She said, "Be the cowboy." It didn't sound like four four to me, but I was trying to count it. I was like one. It was a very waltzy one, two, three, one, two. Three, one, two, one, two, three, one. Yeah, I, I didn't oh. hear no four. I couldn't, I couldn't, I couldn't track it. But let us know what you think in the comments. What, what, what was the time signature? I know you, <laughs> love, my, your motherfuckers love to count. You know, you don't trust Danny C's judgment, bro. Everything is four four if you count it wrong. A pearl.
yeah, that shit was cool, man. Um, in terms of like the the uh, composition, uh, there was like really cool moments of like tension when she's like, it's not like I don't want you to touch me. It's just like I'm in love with the war. That's what stood out to me. It's like that moment when she said at war, like mm-hmm. the melody created so some with the harmony created some tension, mm-hmm. like some weird like uh, I can't even I don't even know who to like attribute it to. But it reminds me of something. Muse. I thought Radiohead too. Yeah. A lot of Radiohead. Interesting. Inter- Radiohead. Interesting. With like the little like, and you see it before in the other tracks with like the little glitches in the track and stuff like that. There's little mm-hmm. little like tidbits mm-hmm. of uh, of that. The one thing I do appreciate actually is like the songwriting is like it's a little straightforward, mm-hmm. but it's like it's it's done I think in such a, a really nice way. And like I like the I love the lines right there like. Uh, I fell in love with the war and nobody told me it ended. So it's like, mm-hmm. damn, like, like you ain't gotta, you ain't gotta beat around the bush with that. Like, you know exactly what this song is about. So like, I thought it was pretty cool. It, this song is about Mitski being toxic and liking yeah. to fight in a relationship, right? <laughs> she fell in love with the war. war. Yeah. Shit. I mean, yeah. she, she replays it every night. What does a war do to you? PTSD. She just watch it glow. You see the fucking, you got the thousand yard stare. You look off into the distance and you see the fires and you're like, oh, shit, I'm still here. I'm still here, even though I'm in the bed. I'm already <laughs> a demon, guys. <laughs> this is going to sound a little off topic, but I'm, I'm playing a game. I'm playing Metal Gear right now. For any of you guys play Metal Gear Solid Five, for mm. me, this song would fit perfectly in there. Woo. All right. We're going to go to the next song here. Um, oh, I'm going to, I'm going to. Uh, Mitski make me Litsky. Ooh. Whoa. He said Mitski is lit. Litsky. Mitski is Litsky. Mitski yeah, is Litsky. Mm. Mm. Lon- another one I was shotgun this. Lonesome love. Ooh. How is love lonesome? Tell us, Mitski. I'll call you to see you again so I can win. And this can finally end. TMI, bro. <laughs> Dude be spilling his business out here, bro. Dude, she said, nobody fucks me in the morning in a taxi. I'm so very paying for What? I don't, I don't get it. Someone elaborate. Tell me what it's about. I think she fell in love with someone who can't satisfy her in bed. But he butters her up. Yeah, like, you can tell me I'm beautiful all you want, but if you don't, like, give it to me, like, the way I want it, like, this is... <laughs> Okay. <laughs> I want to figure out what this last line is. Why am I lonely for lonesome love? So she's with this dude. The dude is great. The dude is like stimulates her in- intellectually in her head or whatever. But he just yes. isn't. He is. She isn't physically attracted to him. But then, she, so she starts missing like the other types of dudes she she dates in the past who like she was physically attracted to, but were em- on, like emotionally unavailable. So she's like, why am I so lonely? It's like, why am I feeling so lonely for that lonesome love, which mm-hmm. was the like feeling like the physical attraction mm-hmm. that didn't give her the emotional support that she's now yeah. getting. She didn't get the full package in this guy. And, you know, yeah, she's, she's finishing herself off at the end of the, the, end of the day. Damn. So I, I think what I'm interpreting from this <laughs> is that she's already been on a date before, right? Because it's to see you again. So I can finally win. She's like, all right, I didn't fuck on the first date. Right? That's like some people's like concerns sometimes, you know? I don't want to fuck on the first date. Oh my makeup. She's yeah, been an hour. She's been out on the makeup, walking around high heels, but I'm trying I'm I'm wondering this part right here. And she says, And you say hello and I lose. So is it So like- she's walking around high almighty, but then she's like 
she sees him and she, he's like hello and she's like oh fuck i'm gonna I'm, i had this i had this uh fucking front up but then now i'm about to like the barriers are being knocked down with just you saying hello or maybe it's like fuck this this guy's a dud oh she didn't say he didn't say like damn you look good in the heels like baby you look good he just said hello <laughs> So I think she her walls were knocked down from, like, him butter him buttering her up. So she lost in that sense because she was like, I'm walking around all high and mighty, and you know I got this makeup on, I got the the heels on, I look sexy, and I look confident, and you know I'm a boss bitch, type of type of attitude attitude, right? And then she's like, I don't know, hello, and she loses. She the the barriers are knocked down, the walls are knocked down. That man's getting in them watery guts. And he and, and she loses because <laughs> he can't satisfy her. I'm thinking of in the sense like nobody fucks me like me. Like like sh- she's saying like the next morning like fuck me. Like yeah. I'm in a taxi and I'm paying for it. You yeah. know what I'm saying? Like she realizes that that at the end that this is all just like oh it's that like this was all kind of a mistake. One night stand type of deal. It was a mistake. Oh, I see that. I think you're. I think you're a little bit closer to. And lonesome love is kind of like that one night stand kind of one night stand kind of love. Mitski, let us know in the comments. Someone let us know. We need to know. Kanye. a hit that's that's my shit that gets a rico primo pass yeah bro. that can play that can be played in this house you said danny c was bricked up i was bricked up whoa bro. yeah i was too hard many bricks in that too many bricks in the <laughs> circumference of this room yeah. right now. You gotta chill out. Well, i'm staring at mitski and i'm reading the lyrics i'm like mitski i could save you i will say like every artist i think kind of wears the heart their heart on their sleeve in terms of in terms of their inspiration sometimes sometimes not all the time um and I don't want to say it because I don't want to detract from this song. So mm-hmm. I could just, I could hear where, I could hear the influences. And I think this song is pretty fucking dope. So the guitar is crazy, man. I, I know I said Kanye because I was like, damn, that's giving me black skinheads. You know, <laughs> stop. it was dirty. It was dirty. That's what it was. That dirty sound, you know. So I, I, I don't know who was the guitarist on this, but props to you, brother. You got some beautiful hands on you. <laughs> and that hey the oh, I you you can play it back in that motherfucking solo bro oh my god I came <laughs> I have arrived in my brain of course it, it was orgasmic it was orgasmic bro all right next song me and my husband me and my husband jeez man <sighs> Together, 
Tasty. Uh, I don't know. I don't Tasty. know. I don't have too much to say about this one. I just gotta say, maybe maybe Destiny and Melina should have uh, listened to Solnitsky. Ooh. Ooh. All right, play the next one. Who is that? The Destiny. It's just a girl on the internet. Don't worry about it. Oh, okay, gotcha, gotcha. <laughs> <laughs> come into the water. Ooh, ooh, I can come into the water. Don't worry, baby. I can, I can, I can take it there. Yeah. I'm just playing. Mitski is, 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 you know, let me be respectful. Mitski makes me brisk. Brick, Mitski makes me brisky. Ooh, just, just, you know what? And it's not even, it's not even on a, a physical attraction thing. It's, it's more of, I like her tone. Her aura, her aura. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Talk, talk to them, Danny. Yeah, look, look, dude. Like her photos tell you everything you need to know, mm. man. I like a art. I like the artsy type. There's mm. just like a. Mm. You know what's happening, boys? You know what's yeah. happening, boys? We're falling in love. You know what's happening? You're becoming men and being attracted to a woman's personality for once. Nonsense. <laughs> Listen to some Mitski and you get the perspective of a of a real woman. Experience. Facts. facts. Mm. Mitski. <laughs> Come into the water Do you wanna be my baby? Are you waiting to touch me? You look so good But I keep my hands Till you tell me if you want me Cause I can't move until I mean, I get it. Dope. It's yeah. pretty dope. Yeah. Pretty dope. I get it. I get it. I like the themes. I like the way it all ties together. <clears throat> the idea of like. It's a breakup album, bro. Yeah. I mean, like, well, also like, like, what was it? Maybe I'm writing this. Uh, maybe I'm the same as the man writing the songs of, of all the dreaming. Right. But would you tell me if you want me? Because I can't move until you show me. So it's like being afraid of like making the first move until you know for sure that, that they're, that they're into you like you're into them. Mm hmm. Um, that's, I mean, I like that. That's super relatable. I mean, everyone can relate to that. She said, uh, you look so good. So she got that physical attraction, right? But I'll keep my hands, you know, keep her hands to herself until you come into the water, the same pool. You're not in even the same pool, bro. You in the jacuzzi still, and she in, she in the pool waiting for you, bro. So get in the water. Oh, we, we already heard this one. This was an extra on the first, on that, that first reaction video. You already know what, how we feel about it. Oh, nobody. But well, Nanny C, you get to tell us how you feel about it. And you know this track, too. Yeah, yeah, yeah he, he heard Mitski. But we're going to jam out again. My God, I'm so Baseline go crazy. You already know that's a hood classic right there. 
That's a hood, that's a hood classic, bro. Oh, Dude, cool. disco, and she got that jazzy tone. Have you guys ever listened to Father John Misty? Oh, of course. I like. That's why I'm saying when I say like heart in your sleeve, like, like I mm-hmm. get, I, always, I get a little bit of tinges of that. But this this that song, not to say that song was like that, but that song was just a bop. That's a bop. That's a bop. Good but, instrumentation, like good melody. The nobody, nobody, like repeating that 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 like sits in the ear. Yep. So well. And then it fades out like nobody. It's just her love. Yeah, yeah, and and it's like it's like a it's like a system glitching or something like that. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. We got the next song, "Pink in the Night." Hmm, what does that mean? Pink in the night. Mm. Oh, this is about masturbation, it looks like. Pink in the night in my room. I've been blossoming. <laughs> Look at that. What blossoms, boys, in the night? Do you hear it too? It's like a summer shower With every drop of rain singing I love you, I love you, I love you I love you, I love you, I love you I think we already summed it up a little bit. Maybe. Maybe. <laughs> maybe. Hey, we don't know. Mitski got to let not us know. About I don't think it was either. Or, you know, something's blossoming in the night, you know. But, yeah, maybe that was one of the one night stands where she felt like, because she said, I felt my heart breaking. So that might be another another. I, I I just think that might be just like a, a bad breakup. Like I could stare at your back all day. That could be one of like fourteen different things. But I'm I'm thinking one while, either like while he sleep. One while he sleep, right? Mm-hmm. True, right? Like I kissed you before, yeah. Mm-hmm. Um, or like I would just follow you in general, so I would look at your back all day. Mm. Or two, it's her reminiscing over him walking away. Ooh. And that's why that's why the line right after that is is like I would kiss you again, but I didn't do it right the first time. Mm-hmm. So it's like him like being like, all right, fuck this shit. Or, mm-hmm. You know what I mean? Yeah. What's really confusing about all of this is that uh, the me and my husband track, it's like she's married. So what the fuck is she talking about? Okay. She says she was married. She said me and my husband, we, like, we're we doing good. It's just a little inconsistent. We're got we going to have to get the deep dive later. Are you cheating on your husband, Mitsuki? <laughs> They, There's they, couples that do that, like they still hold, have ties to old relationships, where they think, "Oh, what could have been?" But I'm with the person I'm with and happy with. But they, it's still, it's, it's natural for people to be like reminisce on or reflect on old relationships. There's there's people out there like that. Maybe that's their dynamic. I don't know. I think the me and my husband thing, it could be also her looking at like other people's relationships and like being like, "Me and my husband, we stick to it." like thick and thin and always like in the front like it's always like a very positive thing right no one ever sees the inside of someone's relationship so it's like yeah it's like it's like the people who usually like oh i love my husband the most on like facebook are typically like that usually comes after like a really big fight yep or something like that you know what i'm saying like maybe sort of sort of that kind of vibe the next song a horse named cold what Air, a horse named Cold Air. Sorry about that. It was cut off. A lake with no fish is the heart of a horse named. So 
Damn. Them ooze were ear candy for me, man. Damn. That that one, that one for me. It took you there? That one's my favorite song off this entire thing. Really? The minimalistic track. I can definitely relate to this. I think it's about once you're past a certain point, there's nothing you can do to change yourself. You're always going to have the same issue. You're always going to have the same problem. A lake with no fish is a heart of a horse named Cold Air. I don't know, man. She she dating she ate, she dating a young steed. But he cold. He like a storm. He's temperament. You know? He's always I think, changing. I think the whole oh so a lake with no fish is the heart of a horse named Cold Air. So she's stating like a an internal truth to me. I think she's talking about herself. She's mm-hmm. like, This is who I am. Who when young would run like a storm? They mm. would say, Ooh hoo, ooh hoo, like Wow, you're going to be great. You're going to be amazing. You have all this potential, yada, yada, yada. But then she says, I had, I thought I had traveled a long way, but I had circled the same old Listen. sin. Ooh. Like, no matter how much mm. I try to strive for that, I know myself and I keep landing in the same position. Maybe this is about, like, uh, what's the term they use when you, for example, you start a new job and you feel like you don't belong. You feel imposter like syndrome. Imposter syndrome. Mm-hmm. I'm going to dive too deep into this. It's probably going to be wrong. A lake with no fish is the heart of a horse. So I'm going to say that a lake with no fish is like, I almost think of the analogy like like a mile wide, but an inch deep, right? Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? Like maybe she has a big heart, but there isn't quite much depth to it yet. There's nothing flourishing there, you know? There's, if there's, there's no ecosystem if there's no fish. So she's been going through life, going through all these things. She's been... No learning fulfillment. lessons, le- learning lessons, quote unquote. I think a lot of people can relate to this. I can relate to this, but like, kind of end up doing the same thing, just maybe a different flavor. You fall know. into the same pattern. Yeah, 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 yeah. It's getting deep. Mitski's getting deep, bro. Now we got washing machine heart. Okay, she wishy washy, wishy, she wishy washy. What's that, Migos? You know that's you know, good. Wishy washy, wishy. I'm I'm getting that that kind of <laughs> <laughs> that type of imagery with this one. Washing machine heart. Okay, T-shirt. she wishy washy, bro. Migo said it best. It sounds like it's about to go into the next song. I just got to ask this though real quick. Misky, are you in an open relationship? <laughs> I'm, I'm just saying. I'm, I'm going to go back saying. to the lyrics real quick. Because it looks like, I mean, it looks like you're you're fucking with a dude who's like giving you all his emotional laundry. She, yeah. And you're dealing with it. And you're kind of just being used. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And like. Clearly, you you're aware. You're very aware of the situation, and you, and you know that he's not. He doesn't want you. He's thinking of another another yeah, bitch. That's crazy. Yeah, I know my girl would be real mad at this one. <laughs> 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 it's like, yeah, come on, come come inside me. But I know who you coming to. Be <laughs> 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 my art. Maybe, maybe let me rephrase that. Maybe rephrase that. That sounds kind of hard. <laughs> she said, "I wash you clean, bro." <laughs> she washing them clean. Come toss your dirty shoes at me, bro. <laughs> you got that dirty dick, bro. Come wash it. <laughs> Look, bro. I'm just reading what she's saying. Dirty shoes in my washing machine heart. She has a clean heart. She's gonna she gonna wash them clean, bro. No, it's it's the dirty shoes. Yeah, because like, he's been walking. He's been traveling around. He's he been walking getting around the city. He's been getting around, bro. No, not like that. But he's, he's has been, a lot of emotional baggage. 
I'm trying. I'm looking at like the why not me. Right. Why are you not thinking about me? Why not me? Why are you not thinking about me? You're closing your eyes. Why are you not thinking about me? And then toss your dirty shoes. That could be like a couple of different things, right? Like, you gotta stop fucking with these dogs, Mitski. Yeah. Come get you a nice, a loyal brown man. We're always loyal, brown man. You already know, brown man don't cheat. Brown men don't be on that. Like, <laughs> you know what I mean? <laughs> he said, ah. This track is Blue Light. Blue Light. Yes, sir. The Blue Light. Sick. Somebody need to kiss this woman, man. That's pretty self-explanatory, man. She 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 longing. She walking around the house naked and shit. <laughs> Nobody to see. And she's like, somebody come kiss me, bro. The last few songs has been like she's sexually frustrated. Like she keeps messing around with these men who don't want her. Or she's like walking around naked in the house, wanting some action. Mm. But she's married, so where's your husband? <laughs> <laughs> I'm not trying. I'm not trying to bag on Mitski. I, her, your music is dope, Mitski. If you ever you watch these videos, your music <laughs> is dope. Two slow dancers. Do she get her love that she wants? She's longing for. We shall find out. <laughs> Does it see how you always remember and we've both done it all a hundred times before It's funny hundred times easier if we I like this one. Very fitting for the end of an album. Mm-hmm. Um, thematically, everything wise lines up. I think I understand. I think this provides some context too to like the rest of the songs on here. All right, ratings, ratings, ratings. 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 Yeah, we gotta ratings. we gotta do the ratings. You go first. Uh, this album, initial listen through, I'd give it seven out of ten. I think if I listen to it more and I could familiarize myself a little bit more with these tracks, I would rate it higher. That's how I listen to albums. I feel like the first time I listen to an album, it's never like the third or the like the fifth time. Okay. 
I'm gonna one up Danny. I'm gonna go eight out of ten. I actually enjoyed this album. I would spin this alone on a drive, think about some things, reflect. Maybe even after a breakup. Maybe even after an argument. Go go spin this track. <laughs> I wouldn't spin it for the. I mean, I'm not gonna spin it for the bitches because then they're gonna be in the car telling me about all their past shit. You know? <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, I would I would I would spin this alone. I would. I would do some internal digging, you know, after listening to this album. Yeah, I'm going to go uh, 8 out of 10, too. I thought it was solid, very solid. And I think maybe if I didn't have um, the the prior album we um, reacted to, I would have given it more, maybe a lower score. But now I see her, her like... Uh, her appeal. Yeah, I can see how, why people like her. And um, a lot of these spoke to me. She's been being really, really real. The producer killed it. I know you have a book of poetry out there. Mm. That's not even music, just straight poetry. I could like you could from the way it's written, everything. Yeah. Publish that shit. Yeah, we need that book right yeah, away. Publish that shit because you know you would be a top selling author right yeah, now. Yeah, yeah. Songwriting's pretty top notch. Yeah. So, yeah. Very consistent. This was not a waste of my time. Yeah. This was definitely productive. I learned a lot. You're kinda opening my uh my ear a little bit to like different types of music yeah. little, little things that are a little more vulnerable mm-hmm. no drums yeah no 808s nope yeah so it's cool well, yeah you don't you don't have to listen to 808s all the time bro you can just i know the lower frequencies li- are kind of shifting my chakras bro yeah no don't do that <laughs> witchcraft please, 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 please. sub for us baby please, please. <laughs> <laughs> lick that like, like button, button please. please you only have to put your little hand on your little mouse pad and then just tap the tap the mouse pad just click on the yeah. like button that's just all you like gotta the, do please like sir just, please just lick it just hit a lick on it just lick it you know like, yeah. easy yeah. lick bro easy lick mami ta vengo pa aqui press that subscribe button Ooh. Yeah. <laughs> subscribe to rico and primo, primo!